Welcome, let's discuss the idea of rotation in the coordinate plane where the center of rotation is not at the origin 0, 0. In this example, let's consider a line segment AB where the coordinate points is 5, 5, 7, 7. And what we want to do with this line segment, we want to rotate it 180 degrees where the center of rotation is at the coordinate point 2, 3. Let's start by placing this information in our coordinate plane. Now let's connect those points. Remembering that our objective is to rotate 180 degrees, don't forget that we have a rule for that. If you want to rotate 180 degrees, given any coordinate point x, y, the image is going to be defined as negative x, negative y. But there is a condition for this rule, and that condition is that the center of rotation needs to be at the origin 0, 0. Which unfortunately, this is not the case because our center of rotation is at the location 2, 3. So we cannot just apply the rule right away, but we can modify this problem to make it fit into the rule. So how about we get our center of rotation and we see what kind of movement we need to do so that it lands exactly at the origin 0, 0. And notice that this movement, it's of three units down and two units to the left. The same movement that we did for point P is the same movement that we need to do to every point in our problem. So let's get A and let's move it three units down and two units to the left. And once we do that, notice that we're going to get a new location for A. And this location is at 3, 2. So let's do the same for B. Let's move it three units down and two units to the left. And once we have this movement, notice that B has a new location. And this location is at 5, 4. So now let's concentrate on this new location. Let me put less emphasis on the old information. And now that we have moved essentially the whole problem so that it fits the center of rotation to be at the origin, now we can apply the rules that we have for rotation of 180 degrees. So a rotation on point A of 180 degrees. According to our rule, is negative x, comma, negative y. Therefore, the image is going to be negative 3, comma, negative 2. Let's place down in our plane. Now let's rotate point B, a rotation of 180 degrees on point B. Now the image is going to be negative x, comma, negative y. Therefore, we're going to get negative 5, comma, negative 4. Let's place that down in our plane. Let's connect those points. But this is not the final answer that we have for our problem. Remember, at the beginning, we made this movement so that we can have the center of rotation to be at zero, zero. So now we got to put back the problem to its original place. And to put it back to the original place, let's move two units to the right and three units up which is exactly the opposite of the original movement that we have done. We are basically undoing the movement that we did initially. So now let's get our location for A prime and let's move it three units to the right and then two units up. That's gonna give us the location at zero comma zero. And now let's do the same for B prime. Let's move it two units to the right and three units up. And that's going to give us the original location, which is at negative 3, comma, negative 1. So let's erase all the purple marks to make sense of the final answer. Now let's put the original information back. Let's understand what we have done here. We got our original problem, and we moved the whole problem so that the center of rotation is at 0. Then we apply the rule of rotation, and then we put our problem back. Let's take a look at another example. So within this problem, we have a triangle now, and the location says at 2, 2, 3, 5, and 6, 4. And now what we want to do, we want to rotate the object 270 degrees, and we want to make our center of rotation to be at negative 3, comma, negative 2. Let's place this information in our plane.
Now let's connect those points. Now, if we want to rotate 270 degrees, we have a rule for that. For any coordinate point x, y, the image is at y, negative x. But don't forget that this rule has a restriction, and that is that the center of rotation needs to be at the origin, which is not the case. Right now, our center of rotation, it's a negative 3, negative 2. So let's move our center of rotation to be at the origin. And to do that, we need to move two units up and three units to the right. So after performing that movement, we can place our center of rotation to be at the origin. So now let's apply the same movement to the points that create this triangle. So for A, let's move it two units up, three units to the right. And once we have that movement, here we have our new location for A. So now let's give that same movement to B, two units up, three units to the right. So our new location for B, it's at 6, 7. Let's give that same movement to C. Let's move it two units up and three units to the right. So now we have our new location for C at 9, 6. So now let's create our new triangle. So now that we have moved the whole problem, where the center of rotation is at 0, 0, now we can start applying the rules that we have for rotation of 270 degrees. So a rotation of 270 degrees on point A is going to give us the location of 4, negative 5. Let's place that down in our graph. A rotation of 270 degrees on the point of 6, 7, according to our rule, is going to give us a location of 7, negative 6. Let's place that down in our graph. And a rotation on our point 9, 6, according to our rule, is going to give us a location of 6, negative 9. Let's place that down in our graph. Let's connect those points. So now to have our final answer, we need to put the center of rotation originally to where it was, which is three units to the left and two units down. So our location of A prime, let's move it three units to the left and two units down, which is going to give us a coordinate point at one comma negative seven. And now for B, let's do the same movement, three units to the left and two down, which is going to give us a coordinate point three comma negative eight. And finally, let's do the same movement with point C, three units to the left and two down. And that's going to give us a coordinate point of 2, comma, negative 11. So now let's define our final answer. Let's just erase our purple marks so that we can make sense of the final result. So that we have done, we have gotten this triangle ABC and we rotated it around P 270 degrees. And we have gotten our location for A prime, B prime, C prime. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.